Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And from the title, I think it's very self-explanatory what we're going to talk about. We're going to turn this kind of golf ball look that have very evenly hexagon and turn it to like、uh, something like this, or even be more organic than this. Yeah, just like different size of. Hexagon, like the inter overlap or intersect. Yeah. So, and at the end of the video, we are going to turn it to a wireframe. So, just like the intro render you see, and I just make them like three times. Each time is like smaller. And I think the way I do it, it's not like perfect. So, if you got some better idea, just let me know. Let me. Learn from you, and also let me know how do you think the new music. I'm trying to use some other music to see how the vibe. So just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Without talking too much, let's jump in. First of all, you just set up your hexagon look like this, and do a mesh. That's the must have. Okay, so we merge by distance. We just give a value to see. Make it to seven, like the smallest, or six. And give a number is the smallest you want. Maybe like this is the smallest I I wish it to be. So let's take a noise texture, and we have to do a compare. So set to zero point five first. So now you get like this. So just tweak to a number. Okay, like this evenly. So just. Have to do it like、uh, this, like、uh, several time, and put it the same value here. So this time we set it this like a bigger number, maybe like double. I also make this like a little bit bigger. So maybe seven color ramp. And just give a little. In this area, we can see we have the the base one, which is coming from just right here, and also this smallest we set, middle we set, and let's just make one or two more. Let this be nine, and just do it like this. So this also be bigger, maybe like、uh, nine. Okay, I think this can be smaller. Maybe zero point two, zero point five, zero point seven. Okay, and then we have to change this a little bit, and just like、uh, mute it to test if it. It is like a, actually in the right amount. That's the basic idea. But you see, it's not perfect because it's very easily to get like a hole because it couldn't find a proper way to distribute the face. So we have to fix it in the following step. To fix it, we have to find this. Open edge. So we take a edge neighbor and compare. Set it to less than or equal than one. So this set it means to select the edge that only got less than one or one face neighbor, and we will use this selection to merge and set it to be even bigger. Try 0.2. But now you will run into a problem because no matter how big the number it is, it will now merge because the hole is coming from this dual mesh. So if we remove that dual mesh and remove this, you can see actually it's not having any hole. So we have to put it like before. But we leave this anyway because we will need that. 
so we toggle on this you see some hole and toggle on this merge and now there will might still be one or two hole either you can tweak a little bit this number to 0 0.3 or something just have to try and we leave that for now now we will need another node triangulate so we might need one here and one here and just give this some value to try and if it's still not working just leave it like like maybe like this and give another seed to change so now it looks fine it doesn't have any holes now so that's how it works it will not work perfectly all the time you just have to change the seed which now is the w to give a variable until you find a perfectly close circle so now we basically got what we want so let's go back to see what is going on here so we need three for the merge for the hexagon to merge and you give it to the same noise that way they will calculate the same noise texture and it, it will be more narrow in each step when it got more narrow which is the white is more close to one and it become bigger sometimes when there is still holes either you tweak the w or you tweak the this like a white value most of the time white sometimes the black as well now we can just try something like something behind so this is the like the final fix for the holes these two i will call them like the they work like a subdivision surface because if we like duplicate them You will see this this uh, pattern become smaller because here the pattern is like hexagon, not necessarily hexagon, but something looks like a hexagon, and we use this to make it become a triangle again, like we cut it and we make a triangle again. So. By this, you can get a better pattern that you wish. And also you can tweak a little for this value for the uh, triangulate. So you will have a more different looks. I think this first one doesn't really work. You can mute that. And another like a trick we can do about that is instead these three all use the same noise can give them different noise so they will not follow the gradient they will be intersecting each other you see the bigger part is moving but the small part it is not moving together so this way you can see they are not they are not um, used as the same noise so if we just uh, mute the middle part you can see it better yeah there's some hole so let's try to fix that sometimes you know when you got not so lucky it will take a while to fix so just have to be patient you know that's the thing about geometry no is you just have to enjoy yourself. Two thousand years later. Turns out if without the middle part it's it's more difficult to get it perfectly round. But uh, that's life. So so we work this way so we make this 
to something might be beautiful. So what can we do about this? One thing we can do with our old friend Extrude Mesh. So something I have never tried before. Let's try this. How about face area? If we plug that in here and we multiply it. So you see different size will get different height. That is quite neat, right? There's another way. If you use this like the noise from before, or you can mix these two if you use two. It works kind of similar as you're using the face area. I quite like this new note, face area. And we can like a scale element and select the top and just change the size to see this kind of crocodile skin and that's the inside maybe use a, like a solidified and if you use a split edge and set position with this face area and you multiply it with the normal you can get this like different size face flying out in the different speed and you can easily turn this to be a wireframe we have to convert that to a curve so mesh to curve and curve to mesh and curve circle to give a profile so set this to like 6 and this to be quite small okay yep so we got this kind of look maybe a little bit thinner actually I quite like it to be broken for my personal preference and that's for today happy hoxie going bye bye